Many Christians talk about the importance of loving God and loving others and rightly so Jesus declared these to be the greatest commandments the idea that we are to love others is sometimes more specifically stated as the call to love one's neighbor as oneself who is my neighbor becomes a natural question to ask the command to love one's neighbor as oneself originally comes from Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 which says do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone but love your neighbor as yourself loving one's neighbor is more than simply loving those who are like us and can love us back in return a neighbor is thus anyone with whom we can share god's love we should love not only those with whom we are comfortable but all whom god places in our path Jesus said, "Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven." He causes the sun to rise over the evil and the good, sends rain to the righteous and unrighteous. If you love only those who love you, what reward will you get? Twice the word neighbor appears in the Old Testament while reading the 10 commandments. It says in Exodus chapter 20 verse 16 and 17 You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor you shall not covet your neighbor's house your or your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbor's The Bible also teaches us do not say to your neighbor go and come again tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you We are taught here that a neighbor is to be helped immediately. The New Testament also teaches us who a neighbor is. In Mark chapter 12 verse 13, Jesus says, "Love your neighbor as yourself." To love someone as yourself, we have to know this person, spend time and strive to understand the person. Jesus has compared the love we have for ourselves to the love we have for our neighbors. God is teaching us through these verses that we are to put our neighbors ahead of us in word, thought and deed. Jesus shares a parable of the good Samaritan. A man is robbed, beaten and left at the side of the road. Two religious leaders pass by without even looking at him. Finally, a Samaritan, someone from another town, is entirely moved by the compassion for the injured man. The Samaritan carries him to the nearest inn and even promises not to go away and pay all the expenses to the keeper for the help and even looks after him until he recovers this story was told long ago but it is relevant even today how can we be good samaritans to our neighbors are we helping our neighbors in times of need this is a question to ponder there are certain ways we can be good neighbors firstly to spend time with the word of god secondly pray intentionally that we can see the needs of those around us thirdly share that you are praying to be good neighbors with those around you we all have neighbors they are a certainty in life and it's a command from the lord to love our neighbors may it be our heart's cry to the lord that we love our neighbors just as he loved us <music>